Hello and welcome to yet another Blender know-how tutorial and if you remember at one time we had a video that as we were scripting we were looking at we were creating a chair with functions and essentially we're going to do something similar uh, where we're going to use functions but we're going to pass parameters into our functions so I'm just going to go ahead and click a new um, blender file and go up to scripting click new and turn on colors and numbers and import BPY so now we have to kind of determine what we want to do with our function uh, right now we're just going to create uh, just an array that we can put any number into a parameter and it will output uh, that ha, uh, how many of an object that we put into it so it's going to be simple we're just going to have pretty much a function that calls a loop a for loop so let's define a function uh, looper yeah I'm pretty uh, original right I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it as well so now I've defined the function looper and it's going to be just bpy dot ob let's see uh, yeah let's just delete let's delete this select all and add a cube so now we have all the things that we do all the time uh, let's sorry this was a kind of a little bit of a rough start what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna define a delete all uh, just for practice in these functions. So just bpy.ops.object dot select all and action equals select and bpy.ops.object dot delete. Sweet. So now as down here in our main we can just do uh, delete all Okay, now you can see, I guess this actually goes right into what I want to share. So right here, we don't have anything in the parameters, because technically we could put whatever we want in here. Um, it wouldn't do anything, because it would actually cause an error if we put something here and we didn't here. But let's just say right here, whatever number we say right here, so we have our function, whatever number we put in here, like a 5, we want a variable, let's just say variable um, looper, actually let's just do v l. Now if we have a v l right here as our variable, we can just do, we can use this variable which is 5 in our function. So let's create a for loop. For um, i in range of, and let's just use vl here. And this will make more sense. Or actually, let's put 10 here, just for the time being while we explain this. So for i in the range of 10, let's do bpy.ops.mesh. Uh, primitive cube add and bpy dot what's for moving we can see this one's bpy uh, bpy dot ops dot transform dot translate and we can just do value equals and parenthesis let's just do zero comma i comma zero so now on the y-axis it's going to be at i every time so and our looper five is going to tell how many of them we want it's going to be pretty it's pretty cool really uh, but right now we don't have it initialized we just have ten so if we run this we will we should have ten cubes one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, there should be ten. 
I'm going to take Blender's word for it. There's 10 cubes there. And uh, let's actually do i times 2 so it's easier to see. And now, instead of 10, what if we just wanted to put VL there? Whatever number we change this to, it will change our function as well. We can have as many cubes as we want, and we can pass it into our function all the way down here. Essentially, if you look at this, that's what we just did here. Blender has a function that we pass parameters in called value, and we made it equal to this. And right here, we have done nearly the same thing. We have a function, and we pass in the parameter of 100 in here that, that calls it right here. I hope this has made a little bit of sense. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and remember you can post in the comments below. Um, also, stay posted for more videos in the future, and thanks for watching.